Hello my friend, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today's meditation is about so you're overweight and why are you overweight? Right. Uh, first of all, in my first past life regression uh, I went back to be being a Spartan but I wasn't an austere Spartan warrior, I was a Spartan merchant and I was a glutton, I weighed about 350 pounds and was eaten delicacies in a culture uh, where the men, you know, were living of uh, blood and milk. <laughs> uh, you know, where austerity uh, was, you know, the goal, the ideal. Um, so I know about fat shaming. And um, so um, I'm quite sure that um, in my work I have seen that um, you know, being overweight is not just the result of calorie count, you know, basically what comes in and does not come out. Uh, that could be, uh, but there are many, many other reasons. And uh, this is why we're doing this uh, meditation, you know, to get some insight on what is really going on. On another note, um, whatever your body shape is, you can be sure that at one time or another in history of humanity, you know, your body shape was considered the ideal. You know, whether big butt, small butt, big chest, small chest, um, big this or big that, or small this and small that, you know, has been in uh, at some time, you know, in history. And uh, let's say, you know, in India, uh, where most people are skinny, <laughs> Um, you know, uh, the film stars used to be pudgy, you know, this was considered a sign of wealth and well standing. And of course we all know about the Venus of Willenberg, you know, where food was scarce, you know, being really fat, you know, was a sign of opulence and beauty, you know, it was rare and difficult to achieve and showed, you know, a high survivability, you know. Whereas nowadays, um, you know, it is uh, quite easy to become overweight with junk food and uh, become diabetic and have other problems and uh, that does not add to survivability. But there are so many more aspects and that's why we are um, doing um, this meditation to really find out what is going on. So just sit on a nice office chair that has a good back support and plant your feet on the ground and uh, maybe, you know, put on some nice headphones or some earbuds, you know, they're really good at uh, improving the sound quality and isolating, you know, from the surrounding noises and uh, close your eyes you know, align your spine nicely so it doesn't hurt. You don't need muscles to keep everything balanced. And um, I'll ask Archangel Michael and Supreme Source, Supreme Creator for guidance and protections. Amen. I ask that everything that happens in this session is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And I ask for the presence of uh, Mother Earth and my spirit guides and my high selves. Now, Amen. And I ask that everything that happens in this session again is, you know, help me to evolve and uh, get closer to perfect harmony and understanding and expansion. Amen.
And now you just imagine that you're sitting in this beautiful hot tub. And it gradually the temperature increases till it becomes really comfortable. Your feet becoming toasty, your back's becoming toasty, your neck, your shoulders. Oh. And then those jets come and they kind of calm your body. They move over your body and just take away tension and stuck energy. And now the whole tub just lights up with this beautiful nourishing lights. They're actually crystalline. Very pure frequencies, whatever you need. Those colors, they come in. Your high self has control of those colors. And there's also kind of sound vibration or some kind of a vibration that, you know, knocks kind of tension loose to just open up to that and just let go. To just letting go, yes. Oh, and you become lighter and lighter. And with every exhale, you just release more tension. And with every inhale, you become more floaty. Ah, oh, it is wonderful. And now you call on your subpersonalities to hang out with you in your hot tub. Oh yeah, you call on your body self. Mm -hmm. You know, that part of you, that is your body. Then you call on your inner child to join you now. Amen. And now you call on your high self, your divine aspect to join you in the bathtub, hot tub, amen. And now on the inhale, you just draw that love from the heart of the high self into your heart, and on the exhale, you send it to the heart of the body self, and body self sends its love to the inner child, and you're just sending love in a circle. And you harmonize yourself and you smile and you laugh and you breathe deeply. Ah, yeah, just run that love in a circle. Mm -hmm. Very good. Smile and just enjoy this floating. Oh, it is so good. And now we're going to ask some questions, and don't judge, you know, whatever pops into your mind, just take that, you know, to be, you know, the answer, you know, don't judge it, you know, just be naive, but you're an expanded state of consciousness, so, you know, you will see if there's something really good coming up, so, but don't judge, okay, whatever pops into your mind, just take that, don't analyze it, you know, just enjoy the moment, just smile and breathe. And the first question is to you guys, you know, are you fat, you know, as a protection, you know, are you so sensitive that, you know, the fat is a psychic protection, so things don't affect you that much, like a buffer? How much of your fat, you know, is due to that kind of mechanism from 1 to 100 now. Very good. Now the second question is, uh, for some people, you know, that got raped, um, they're thinking, you know, in their subconscious, you know, hey, if I'm fat, you know, I won't get raped. I won't be attractive, I won't get raped, it's a protection, you know, or, or I want to have to have sex, you know, I mean, it's a protection, a runaway. Let's just ask, you know, from one to hundred, you know, how much in you is that a mechanism from one to hundred now? All right, very good. 
Another function of fat is to store toxins there. You know, there's very little blood circulation there, so the body likes to store toxins in there. And also, like emotional toxins, like anger, can be stored in the fat, you know, the subtle plane. Um, so, um, let's say, you know, there might be, there is actually an area, you know, where hate towards men, you know, from women, you know, gets stored. You know. And once, you know, forgiveness is there, you know, those things may melt away. So, but let's just find out, so from one on a hundred, you know, how much fat, you know, how much of your fat is like a storage for anger and other toxins, emotional or physical toxins now, you know. Okay, no, very good. And another reason, you know, you might uh, be overweight is all programs of starving, you know, where uh, in so many lifetimes, you know, we probably starved and starved to death, you know, people that went through the wars, like Europeans, there many of them have been starving. Uh, but in so many lifetimes, you know, we have been starving and uh, maybe even in this lifetime, you know, and so, uh, so when we, you know, because of that, you know, when we can, we eat as much as we can because of this kind of star scarcity consciousness, you know, it's like in Schlaraffenland. Uh, so let's ask, you know, how much of your being overweight, you know, stems from those kind of starving programs from one to a hundred now. Oh, very good. And let's just ask the uh, our body self, or inner child, and our high selves, you know, if they're ready to release those kind of traumas, those kind of um, reasons, you know, for uh, storing fat. Are they willing to let go of this now? Amen. I'd have them do it now. Amen. Ah, uh, yeah. And feel how, you know, you become lighter. <laughs> Maybe breathe deeper, become tingly, smiley. There can be all kinds of um, signs that your energy is moving, that you're transmuting things. All right, so while this healing and clearing is going on, let's just, you know, Go back to running love in a circle. And let's ask, you know, maybe uh, you did vows on, you know, on being unattractive or never to starve or you cursed yourself or you got cursed by others, you know, to be overweight. You know, so, f I mean, for all kinds of reasons, you know, no. So just ask, you know, from this lifetime or past lifetimes, you know, how much is your whole being overweight based on vows and curses from one to hundred now? All right, very good. And we asked your high self to clear those and your other selves to let go of those energies that you're still holding now, amen. And while this clearing is going on, let's just ask our bodies here, how much of being overweight is just a shield against electronic vibration, you know, how maybe working on a computer, maybe being surrounded by heavy-duty electromagnetic force fields, heavy machinery, you know, cell phone, uh, Wi-Fi, you know, uh, maybe it's, that is the reason, you know, of your body protecting itself this way. Okay, let's ask one two hundred, how much?
okay very good and then we asked for guidance you know if it's you know considerable you know on how to deal about that you know amen now another reason and that's more on the far outside you know uh, many of us you know get inhabited by ghosts you know by the um, spirits of uh, humans that passed on but you know didn't go on to the higher dimension and many of them you know just like to satisfy the appetites through us you know and so you could have you know do be a glutton because you have a ghost resigning in you that is using your body as an amusement park <laughs> you know just being a glutton so let's just ask yes or no do i have a ghost in me that is making me eat more than is best for me yes or no amen Oh, very good. And, uh, well, let's ask, uh, if you have ghosts, let's ask an ascension team, you know, to take, an angels, you know, to take care of those ghosts. And uh, if this doesn't work, um, you know, you may need my help or the help of other practitioners. Let's just move on. Um, ask how much of your being overweight is due to ancestor programming, you know, in DNA. Um, you know, some races or genetic brands, you know, uh, uh, you know, have uh, adapted to a starvation diet, you know. So, and we ask then if that is, see how much that is the case from 1 to 100 now. Amen. And now we ask that this be corrected by our high self so that we run by optimum standards for nowadays this culture. Amen. And now we ask, you know, how much of our being overweight is due to wrong food combinations? One to hundred, ask now. Amen. And when you know, and it's considerable, you know, just uh, do your own research. And now we ask our team here um, from 1 to 100, uh, how much is our overweight due to junk food, GMO food, you know, I mean really too much processed food, like Twinkies and, you know, other, I mean, I don't have to go into details, you know what it is. Uh, Ask from one to hundred. Ask now. Amen. Very good. And investigate. You know when this is considerable. You know there's lots of information out there. And let's ask now uh, how much um, is uh, of your overweight is due to using food as a drug. You know, let's say, you know, you pace your emotions. If you feel rejected, for instance, you know, you go for a gallon of ice cream. <laughs> uh, so, okay, from one to a hundred, how much? Okay, and if it's considerable, it says ask, you know, what is the hang up, the emotional root cause for this food addiction. Now, amen. Then later on you can deal with that in an individual basis. And now, how much of your overweight is being due to, let's say, the wrong drinks. You know, whether it's diet soda, whether it's real soda, maybe it's too much beer, booze, alcohol. Ask how much percentage that is from 1 to 100 now. 
all right so use common sense <laughs> after that and for some of you um, uh, how much of being overweight is due to let's say recreational uh, marijuana from 1 to 100 ask now all right And now let's ask how much of you being overweight is due to lack of exercise, being stagnant. Ask now, one to hundred. And ask, you know, what for you uh, would be the lowest hanging fruit in terms of exercise, you know, the biggest bang for the bug for you, you know, what you can do. Ask now. Very good. And now let's ask your body self. Um, is there anything your body wants you to eat more of? Ask now. Uh, very good. And then ask, hey, how much should I eat less of? Okay, and of course, you know, we all have, you know, those areas of our body that we really think that's, you know, the worst, <laughs> you know, and as we have areas of our body that we think is pretty good, you know, so let's just ask your body self and your high self and inner child, you know, your worst area, you know, what is the root cause of that? Ask now. Right. If you now, you know, let's ask your subpersonalities, you know, to let go of that root cause, that trauma. Now, amen. Okay. Very well. And now we ask our subpersonalities if they have any messages for us before we leave. Alright. And we thank our subpersonalities and all the beings that helped us, you know, guided us and helped us. We thank them. We ask them to, you know, close any gateways, energy gateways, portals that were opened and should be closed now, even and I will count to three and you will be back at waking day consciousness one two three hello friends welcome back i hope you had a good time um use whatever you learned accordingly you know i do personal sessions i'll go to my website you know if you click show more uh, another picture, you know, there are all kinds of links. Uh, subscribe or recommend to friends. Uh, watch my other videos. I love you. Namaste.